Well, I think what we were talking about earlier was about cultural genocide and what people keep talking about, about cultural genocide. You know, this wasn't a hole that was filled with drums and rattles. You know, these were the, the children of these communities. These are the, these, these are the children of our nations. You know, that could have been future leaders, that could have been mothers, fathers, grandmothers, grandfathers that we could have learned from, that we could have been the leaders of our communities that we had to go without. And so absolutely like to see these monuments of this genocide toppled in the way that they have been. And so to see the the head of Egerton here at Landback Lane is, you know, it's kind of part of that, of what they took from us because they didn't just take our children from us. They stopped the next generation from being able to make the stands that we have to make in order for us and our communities to have our voices heard. And I think this idea and this, this continuing to call this cultural genocide was one that is, is, uh, is absolutely enraging to a lot of people because like this wasn't about stealing our culture from us. This is about killing us. This is about taking those families and ripping them apart and making them into whatever it is that they wanted to see. And, and Mr. Ryerson here was one of those voices that had a lot to say about what it took to take apart what it meant to be a Wohoi, what it meant to be a Mohawk man from Six Nations. To see somebody like him make the policies that were the groundwork for these schools to be able to take away from from each one of those kids what it meant to be a Mohoi is, uh, is absolutely like beyond words. I wish I could call it justice. I really wish I could call it justice. This isn't even close. The fact that we're spending a hundred million dollars as a country, as Canada, is spending a hundred million dollars to fight against those people who are trying to put forth claims, like that is absolutely ridiculous.